I went to see you, my friend TJ, who's in the audience in the green right there. Yes. Uh, we came, she had tickets Hi, to see you and, and Fantasia. Yes. In concert in L.A. And yes. You got on the piano and you were just shaking it and I was <laughs> screaming and you turned back and you looked, I don't know who you was looking at, I thought you was looking at me. <laughs> of, course, of course I was looking at you, Sherry, of course I was. I, I literally have to know because, I mean, we all remember every Robin Thicke song because you're so sexy when you sing. Thank you. Like, like literally, <laughs> when you are singing Robin and every woman is screaming, what is going through your mind? Oh, I just don't hit a bad note, I think. <laughs> no, you know, I, I love music. I mean, you know, you and I go way back. Yes. And, and uh, I love making music. I love performing music. It comes from my heart and soul. You know, I come from six generations of family musicians. Yes. My, yeah, my, my mom, Gloria Loring. Gloria Loring. Shout out to moms. My mom, uh, Gloria Loring, uh, is a singer and songwriter. My father was a singer songwriter, and my grandfather was a jazz trumpet player. Oh. And so, so we go way back in the, in the music family. Man, and, okay, and one more question when you're in concert. When you're looking, I can't tell where you're looking. I swear you was looking at me when you were singing. I'm always but looking then, at you. What, yeah, but it was a girl behind me, and I said, he looking at me. She was like, no, he looking at me. We almost got into a fight oh. at the concert. <laughs> Who do you guys look at when you're on stage? What do you fixate on? Like, what, do I need to wear a certain thing? Do I need to throw something at you? What? Well, that, that always helps, you know, throw something. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get hit a lot with things, you know? <laughs> I remember sometimes things would land on the microphone, too. Oh, my know? God. <laughs> well, I'm not going to throw underwear, because I got those big Hanes her way. It would knock you out. Let's make, sure, let's make sure it's not in the winter time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's make sure it's a summer show. As sexy as you are, Robin, I went, you know, because... And I'm just going to say... I went to your app Instagram and I fell down a rabbit hole because I was looking for some thirst trap pictures. Yes. And all I found were dad pictures. For the most part. These yeah. are look, look at look at right here. This is the baby. This is the baby. This is look, we got another picture. These are all of the kids. <laughs> look, look. Is there another picture? I found all of there the babies. Are. There's my four. There's, and there's Julian, the oldest. Those look at are the my two. girls. Like, no thirst traps. You are, like, the dad now. I love... You know, my father was an amazing dad, and, um, yeah, shout-out. Shout-out to dad. Look at Alan Fitt! Pop. So, uh, you know, he was my uh, hero, and, uh, and I just... Uh, I want to follow in his footsteps as a man and a father, and, uh, you know, I want my, I want my kids to be... To, to feel th uh, the way about me that I do about my dad, you know? You were, you... You know, and it's, I'm such a fan of Alan Thicke and him being an actor. Yeah. But are you, you know, because I know, I, I think I'm turning into my mom. Yes. Are, do you, do you turn into your dad? Are you Definitely. now Alan? Sherry, it's good to be here. <laughs> Love the show. You know, thanks for having my son on. You know, he needs hits the way he spends money. He needs some hits. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, you know, it was just, I think the older we get and then as once we're parenting, when we're the kid, yeah. we're, in, we're in a rebellious mode, you know, we're in a, a independent mode yes. and finding ourselves. But then when you're the parent, it's just natural. Like sometimes when I'm just holding my kids and I, I, I feel him with me, you know, I feel really? like he's holding me as I'm holding them. And you know what I mean? That kind of, that kind of thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I have to ask you, Julian is the oldest. He's getting so big. Yes. I remember when he was born. Yeah, so he... that's right. Yeah, you yes. knew yeah, you knew Julian just a little boy. He was a little boy. Now, does Julian... He got to meet Megan the Stallion that day. Oh, though. he did. <laughs> oh, is that why he's grinning? <laughs> okay, so now Julie knows how I felt when I was watching you on the piano when you were dancing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God, look I at that ass. I remember <laughs> we, yeah, yeah. I remember after we met, uh, uh, and, and I wanted to show him some videos, and I pulled up a video. I was like, you know, we'll watch that another time. So <laughs> we'll, just, we'll get to Megan later, you know? But tell me something, because you say you come from this generation of singers. Yes. Is Julian, does he have a voice? Man, this kid's from very young, five, six years old. He had the gift, you really? know, and wow. uh, he, he loves to sing. And just yesterday, he got the lead part in his, uh, in his school play. Oh! Playing Charlie. 
He's gonna be uh, he's gonna be Charlie in uh, Willy Wonka. In Willy Wonka. In Willy Wonka. Chocolate he's factory. gonna be Charlie. And he called me yesterday from school, and he had all his friends around. He was so he couldn't even talk to me, of course, <gasps> too busy celebrating to talk to dad. But he's very excited, and I'm so proud of him. Oh. He's a wonderful. And you're gonna be right there with that video. Camera. Oh, you know. Oh, I'm eating it up. Well, now it's just the cell phone. Oh, I that's right. It. We got the cell phones now. <laughs> so we got to talk about Mass Singer. Yes. The new season Woo! coming up of Mass Singer. I'm going to ask you this anyway. I know Please. you can't, but I'm going to ask you. Is Tom Brady going to be? Well, you know, what? you know, I can't say because, you know, you've been on the show. We're very secretive yes. around there. But I will say, you know, Rob Gronkowski was on the show. He was. And that's Tom's boy, so you never know. It might be Tom Brady or it might be an actual goat. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> because I know, you know, Ricky Lake, she was on there, and everybody thought yes. I was, y'all thought I was Ricky Lake. Yes. Um, and Ricky Lake told me to well, go. I got Ricky right. They you, thought she was Ricky. They Lake. thought I, I was, got Ricky you right. got Ricky right. <laughs> now, I was the I was the penguin on there yes. when I came on Mass Singer. Did you know it was me? Because y'all were banding about, like, you, you thought you know, it was. I didn't know your singing voice as well. I knew, I know you as an amazing, charming personality and great actress, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, that you could sing like that. So I was trying to find somebody who, you know, was a, a legitimate singer. I think you thought I was. You, no, but I think you thought I was Wanda Sykes. Well, there you <laughs> go. That sounds, that sounds more like a Jenny guess. <laughs> it probably was a Jenny guess. And my eyes were so up here, I couldn't see you. And I was like, I just want to look at Robin, but I couldn't see anything. I know, that, it's got to be tough. I don't envy you guys. The heat and the, I mean, it must get hot in there, right? It is so hot. I, I lost. It's kind of claustrophobic, too. It's so, so claustrophobic. <laughs> I lost, like, uh, uh, 10 pounds. But once they unmasked me, I gained the 10 right back. Once I got the air. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Straight to the buffet. <laughs> Straight to the buffet once I got voted off. <laughs> you, the thing I love about you, Robin, is you continuously, you keep growing, you reinvent yourself, but you always go back to your music. Yes. And you collaborate with, yes, you do. You collaborate with so many wonderful people. So now you have a new one out called Brown Liquor. Brown Liquor, yeah. Brown liquor, it's you gotta grown talk. Man, this is grown man talk. Grown man talk. What this is brown liquor? This is grown man talk. Well, my, my mentor and uh, best friend, Andre Harrell, who passed away yes. a couple years ago. Shout out to Andre Harrell. Yes, he taught me everything I know, and uh, you know, he used to have this thing about being a grown man and being a brown liquor man. You know what I mean? <laughs> and taking care of your woman, taking care of your family, and enjoying your brown liquor, you know? So, right. Uh, so that this, we were working on this track, and this, this idea came to me about I only drink brown liquor. And, and, and now it could be the liquor and it could be the woman. Oh! Now mm. see, we don't, know what, we don't know what we're talking about just yet, you know? Mm. But yeah, so uh, I like brown liquor and brown women. Oh, you know? oh. So, oh. Stop what? <laughs> Stop what? Stop what? Stand up with it. Stand I'm about, up. I'm gonna do that move Patrick did. Uh-oh! Oh. What? Uh-oh. What? Drop it like it's caliente. <laughs> now, this is what it, your name is Robin Thick, and yes. I, I don't think that you've ever taken full. <laughs> Y'all nasty, all of you. I don't think that you've ever taken full advantage of your name. Mm. And I thought because you're gonna come out with another album, and I thought that maybe we could, you know, give you a couple titles. Okay. If if I may. Okay, I'm scared. Right all now. right. <laughs> the first the first <laughs> album title I thought would be Thick. Thighs save lives. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait. that's right there. Thick well, as thieves. Thick as thieves. What am I, I like, stealing? Thick as thieves. <laughs> stealing my heart. Hey, baby. That's what it is. Okay, so maybe, <laughs> maybe not thick as thieves. Then okay. let's go to thick thighs save lives. That's now, this one. They do. Save my life. I like that. I like to envision <laughs> Robin thick thighs looking like that. Or maybe through thick and thin. Oh. No, we don't like that one. I don't know. That's. No, we don't like. That, that's hopefully not my future right no. there. Right there. <laughs> no, you're the sexiest dad I know. That is not your future. Okay, you don't need our help at all, Robin. We well, don't you know, leave the you funny alone. thing is, my publishing company is called I Like Them Thick. Oh, really? So, so we, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's my version. <laughs> That's my version of the drinking game. Dropping it go. like it's hot. There you go.